Well, Drum Over Teacher of the Amber here, and recently I was perusing the YouTubes, as you do, and I think um, I came across a book haul, and it was by Peter Mon. I think his, I'm not subscribed to his book to, book, yeah, book two channel, but I think because I watch his other videos, his um, book two videos were in my recommended, and his video was called something like a very hairy book haul, and <laughs> some reason my brain said Harry Styles because that makes sense it turned out to be a mostly Harry Potter book haul which also great but my brain kept formulating and thinking what if it was a Harry Styles book haul right and somehow I came up with the idea the thought I couldn't put it away so I'm like okay I'm gonna have to do it what if I do a book haul or pick my next book haul solely around Harry's album, Harry Styles, by Harry Styles, buy it on iTunes. So that's what I'm here to do. <laughs> and then from there I just thought it'd be, if this works out, a strong if, it'd be really cool to do book hauls or even just any book video inspired by my favorite albums and artists and just combine my two loves, books and music, together. Being at the Hall is based on the album. There will be 10 books that I'm searching for and I've gone through the album and picked certain criteria or themes for each song. So in this part of the video I will be going over each song and the criteria of the book that I'm looking for and then I'm going to come back after I have um, bought the books and then I'll share them with you. Okie dokie. So the first song on the album is Meet Me in the Hallway. This song for this book I am going sort of off the line. Gotta get better. Gotta get better. And maybe we'll work this out. Work it out. And the theme for the book I'm looking for is sort of like maybe like a toxic relationship. We'll see. So after that is Sign of the Times iconic and I was gonna go with some a play on running from the bullets but I think I'm going to look for sort of like a an apocalyptic themed book and if I can't find that I will then go back to something based off or something light or lighting that's not a word relating to running from the bullets okay after sign of the times is Carolina a bop and if you know the song, you know most of the song is She's a good girl, la, 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 la. she's so good. So that was not a single key <laughs> for that song. I am going with the theme, or yeah, I'm going with the whole like good girl thing, but a good girl with a twist. What that means, who knows, we'll see. Pray for me. The next song is Two Ghosts. And honestly, based on the lyrics, you could have gone down a thousand routes. But truthfully, when um, a lot of these songs are about relationships and like the ins and outs of relationships, and I'm like, if I go strictly based on what the song's about, all of these are going to be contemporary novels. And I don't really read contemporary novels. I just finished a contemporary novel, and for most of it, I wanted to rip my eyes out. So <laughs> I've read some good contemporary novels. I do feel the need to say that. So anyway, for two ghosts, I am looking for a good ghost story, a good paranormal book. Next is The Beloved, The Love of My Life, Sweet Creature, which I have reacted to when it was released, if you would like to see. I actually would like to re react it. Reacted to the whole album when it came out. If you'd like to see, I'll leave the links down below or leave them up here in the little cards. Anyway, for two ghosts, not two ghosts, for Sweet Creature, we're going to play off the lyrics my favorite lyrics from the album, I want them tattooed on me. Running through the garden, oh we're nothing bothered us. And I am not, for this book, for this song, I'm looking for a book with a very pretty pink or very pretty floral cover. So the next song on Harry Styles by Harry Styles, buy it on iTunes, is Only Angel, an anthem, you know? And for that, <laughs> for that one, song's so good live. Anyway, I'm looking, I'm going, once again, supernatural, paranormal sort of, a book surrounding or about or alluding to angels and devils or demons. 
So, the next song is my favorite off the album. It's Kiwi, which is one of the greatest things that Kiwi Live is the greatest thing I've ever experienced in my life. And um, I actually injured my vocal cords last month when I saw it live in June. But obviously, we're Kiwi, we're going with the lyric, I'm having your baby, it's none of your business. And we're looking for a book where someone's having somebody's baby and it's none of their business. I still don't know what it means. Okay, so next is also a beautiful song, Ever Since New York. And obviously I'm going to look for a book that takes place in New York. That's easy. Next is my mom's favorite song. It's Duck Noise, Woman Herself. La 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 la. What woman? So for what woman, we are looking for uh, some butt kicking, bad A, feminist books. You know? That's my vibe. That's what I'm here for. Get with it. And then last but not least is From the Dining Table which is actually the song on this list, this track listing that I had the most trouble finding the theme for. Um, because it, one, it's a very emo, very sad song. There are a lot of things happening in the song. Well, yeah, ooh. <laughs> um, there are a lot of different routes you could have gone. But I just, I decided, because I didn't want to get stuck just reading contemporary books, sorry. Um, I was gonna go with the lyric, Woke up the girl who looked just like you. I almost said your name. And for that, I am going to look for a book with a cover similar to a book that I already own. And if I can't find that, I'm going to go with a book that's plot is similar to a book I already own. So that's my mission. And I will see you when mission is accomplished. <laughs> Yikes. Hello, it's been ages, but I'm back. And I finally acquired the books for this haul. We are filming this on my laptop because since filming the first part of this video, <laughs> I have been away from my birthday, lost the charger for my camera, and I'm living my best life. So, bear with me. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the fun part of this. <laughs> Okay, so the first song on the album is <laughs> Meet Me in the Hallway, Fake Fan. For that song, we were going with the lyric. Uh, we were going, first the theme was a sort of toxic-like relationship and just environment. And I was also focusing on the lyric, gotta get better and maybe we'll work this out. So <laughs> I have two books actually with a lot of these. Somehow I got off track and have multiple books. And I have A World Without You by Beth Revis, 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 and Girl Made of Stars by Ashley Herring Blake. Now, for this one specifically, I think this one definitely goes with the gotta get better, maybe we'll work this out lyric itself. It is about a, I don't know why I say about like that. <laughs> it's about a boy, it's about a boy who's sent to a school for troubled youth or kids with um mental illness issues i don't know why i said it phrased it like that he meets a girl and i believe she kills herself okay he believes she's not actually dead he believes that she's stuck somewhere in time and that he somehow left her in the past and now it's his job to save her and it says, and as Bo becomes more and more determined to save Sophia, he must decide whether to face his demons head on or succumb to a psychosis that will let him be with the girl that he loves. Um, yeah, this has been in my Amazon cart for a very long time, so I'm very glad to 
and my book outlet cards. So I'm very glad to own it now. And this one uh, is very has been very popular on BookTube recently, and I wouldn't say it's more so a toxic, I guess, romantic relationship. There's just like a lot of toxicity in the book itself. It's about a, a girl who, um, long story short, her friend accuses her twin brother of rape. And she is torn between both of them and the truth. And uh, along with that, there are other issues regarding like her best friend and her ex-girlfriend. And I think there's a new girl involved. There's just a lot happening. Another book I've wanted to read for for a very long time. So yeah. Tell us now if you're crying, it's a sign of the times. Welcome to the final show. Hope you're wearing your best clothes. You can't ride the dog on your way to the sky. We never thought it would be before. Why are we always so good at all? The bullet. The bullet. We never thought it would be before. Why are we always so good at The bullet. The bullet. Next is Sign of the Times, quality song. So for Sign of the Times, uh, I, we are going with a sort of like end times apocalyptic um, end of the world story. And that's what we've got twice over. <laughs> for this one, I went with Station Eleven by Emily St. Man John Mandel, Mandel perhaps. Um, it's a very popular book. It's been around for a bit. I believe it starts yeah there's like a traveling traveling circus I believe and there is it starts with a devastating flu pandemic and that wipes out the world as we know it and then the story picks up in the aftermath of that basically that's basically all I really know about this book but people rave about it so I'm excited to read it and also I, say, I said this was Station Eleven, right? Yeah. And this is Life As We Knew It by Susan Beth Pfeffer. And this one is the story of when a meteor hits the moon and it knocks it closest to Earth's orbit and alters life as we know it. We love titles that correlate to the story. She's got a family caravan home So far away but she says I'm not at night home She didn't know I'm so far from home She never saw herself as a West Coast land Moved all the way cause her grandma told her town Best room before you go She's a good girl She's a good girl She's a good girl She's got a book for every situation Great. Next. A bop. A tune. Carolina. <laughs> For that song, we went with the concept of, well, we went with the lyric, you know, she's a, she's a good girl, la 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 la, I just, we just did this. Anyway, with the concept of like a good girl, but with a twist. And for this one, I have two books also, but they're by the same author and they're part of the same poetry collection series, so it counts as one. And they are... The Princess Saves Herself in this one, and The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one by Amanda Lovelace. They are poetry collections, like feminist poetry collections. The back of this one says, the, st uh, the story of a princess turned damsel turned queen. And the back of this one says, burn whoever tries to burn you. And honestly, mood. Great. I love poetry. I believe, yeah. I've heard good things of these. These are like the really short Tumblr milk and honey style poems, but I love poetry. Same lip thread, same eyes blue, same white shirt, couple more tattoos. It's not you, it's not me. Tastes so sweet, looks so real, sounds like something that I used to feel. I can't touch what I see. We're not who we used to be. We're not who we used to be. We're just two ghosts standing in the place of me. Trying to remember how it feels to have a heart. So for two ghosts, obviously, going with ghost story, because obviously, 
So for that we have But Not Forever by Jan von Schle. Mm -hmm. This one actually sounds really, really interesting. So it's technically not a ghost story, but it is a ghost story where, okay, I'm just going to read the back because I'm not going to do it justice. It's the year 2015 and Sonnet McKay, also Sonnet's a really cute name, um, is the daughter of a globe-trotting diplomat home for, home for the summer from her exotic life. Everything would be perfect if not for her stunning sister whose bright star has left her in the shadows. In 1895, Emma Sweetwine is trapped in a Victorian mansion and dreaming of wings to fly her far from her mother who gives her love to her sons leaving nothing for her daughter. Fate puts them in the same house at the same moment, 120 years apart, and the identical 15-year-olds are switched in time. In their new world, Sonnet falls in love with a boy, Emma falls in love with a life, and astound ast wow. And astonishing family secrets are revealed. Torn, both girls want to still go home, but can either one give up what they have now? I consider this a ghost story because there is a girl in 2015 who is from 1895. So like technically, historically, she's dead, so it counts, you know? I'm gonna jump ahead a little bit because the next song is sweet, the next song category song is Sweet Creature. But I have a book that I don't remember which one, if I bought it for um, Carolina, like the good girl, I think it was Carolina. If it was like the good girl with a twist or if it was for Sweet Creature. So I'm just gonna show it to you. <laughs> and it's The Library of Fates by Aditi Karana. And I'm saying I think this is Sweet Creature because like it's pink and that was the theme. It's like pink, not, not pink or floral books. So, and I think I just put it in the middle because I didn't want to say I bought three books for one category. <laughs> but it could also very well be the Carolina category since I, especially because I counted it. <laughs> The two poetry books is one. It says no one is entirely certain what brings the Emperor Sikandar to Shalangar. Until now, the idyllic kingdom has been immune to his many violent conquests. To keep the visit friendly, Princess Amrita, one of my friends when I was younger, her little sister was named Amrita and she was so cute. Anyway, yes, she also danced naked in the window, but that's beyond the point. <laughs> Princess Amrita has offered herself as his bride, sacrificing everything, family, her childhood love, and her freedom to save her people. But her offer isn't enough. It kind of has a Wrath in the Dawn vibe. And why am I like this? The palace is soon under siege, and Amrita finds herself a fugitive, utterly alone, but for an oracle named Thala, who was kept, who was, oh god, I can't read, who was kept by Sikandar as a slave and managed to escape amid the chaos. With nothing and no one else to turn to, blah blah blah, they're forced to rely on one another. Uh huh, blah blah blah. blah. So, great. This goes, but I'm, it's a, I just bought the book, okay? It just, I liked the way, I just. Next is Sweet Creature. Sweet Creature. Had another talk about what's going wrong. We're stuck on. Don't know where we're going, but we know we belong. Oh, we're starting to hearts in one home. It's hard when we argue with our stuff, but I know. We don't know. Sweet creature, sweet creature, wherever I go. You bring me home. Sweet creature, sweet creature, now I run out of home. You bring me home. We went with the vibe of the song itself, the aesthetic of the song. So we went with, uh, find a book with a pink and or floral cover. And I found two really pretty floral color covers. And we have Wicked Like Wildflower by Lana Popovich and Wild Beauty by Anna Marie Mecklemore. I wanted to read one of her books since seeing her at BookCon. So that's exciting. That's the thing about buying books for like a specific haul. You have to like keep reminding yourself what the books are about. Okay, so in this one, all the women in uh, this family are born with uh, with a gleam, which is they can manipulate beauty through magic, which kind of sounds like the bells. It says 17-year-old Iris sees flowers as fractals and turns her kaleidoscope visions into glasswork. Her twin, twin, her twin sister, Melina, interprets moods and music 
and their cold, distant mother, Jasmina, bakes scenery into decadent treats at her confectionery in Old Town, Cataro, Montenegro. They're forbidden to share their gleams with anyone, um, and they're forbidden to fall in love, so like, you know where this is going. Uh, but then they meet a boy, you know? <laughs> There's a boy. Wait, is there a boy or is it this one? That might be this one. Their mo oh no, I think that's this one. Um, when a mysterious white haired woman attacks their mother and leaves her hover hovering between life and death, the sisters unearth an ancient curse that hurts, the her hurts. haunts their life. <laughs> a wicked Barton that master Barton. I really can't read. Bargain that masquerades as a blessing and binds the twins' fates and hearts to a force larger than life. To save each other, they must untangle a thousand years of lies and reveal their own hurtful secrets. But even the deepest sacrifice might not be enough. Great. And then there's this one, which I think is kind of similar. <laughs> For nearly a century, the Nomeo Vides women have tended the gardens of La Perdera, the lush estate gardens. Mm -hmm. They've also hidden a tragic legacy. If they fall in love too deeply, the their lovers vanish. Then they then there's a boy. <laughs> That's this one. He appears in the garden, and neither Estrella, the what? a boy, neither Estrella, the normal Vides girl who finds him, not nor her family know anything about. He knows about himself, about who he is or where he came from. It's the first three letters of his name. As Estrella tries to help Fell, that's his name, piece together his unknown past, La Pradera leads them to secrets as dangerous as they are magical in the stunning exploration of love, loss, and family. It's pretty. <laughs> Next is the anthem, the mood, the bop, only angel. And if you look, can look me in the face and tell me that you don't blast that song walking down the street and then strut like you're on a catwalk, I'm going to look you in the face and say, you're a liar. Anyway, so for that song, we went with the line, um, told it to a brother and she told it to me and she's gonna be an angel just you wait and see but it turns out she's a devil in between the sheets that's inappropriate so i went with angels and also demons or devils because i got two books let me live my life so for the angel part we went with out of the blue i said we it's just me it's just me and harry Okay. I'm <laughs> it's just me and Harry. He helps me pick out all these books. Out of the Blue by Sophie Cameron. And I believe this is what a story about what happens when angel-like creatures start falling from the sky. Yeah, mysterious beings start falling from the sky. Smashing down to earth at extraordinary speeds. Wings bent, faces contorted. Not a single one has survived. Eight months later, Jaya's father uproots the family to Edinburgh, intent upon catching one of the beings alive. I thought, didn't we just say none of them survived? Okay, cool. His obsession, blah, blah, blah. Miracle happens. Being falls right at her feet and is still alive. So now she has to figure out whether to tell her dad um, and notify the authorities or hide the being and try to nurse her back to health. Cool. And then for the other side of that coin, I went with The Replacement by Brenna Yovanov. And this one is kind of, it says, uh, the, this boy, <laughs> he's not one of us. He is not one of us. It says, he comes from a world of tunnels and black murky water, a world 
of living dead girls ruled by a little tattooed princess. Me. <laughs> he is <laughs> a replacement left in the crib of a human baby 16 years ago. Now he's slowly dying in the human world. Matthew would give a blah, 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 blah. Um, Tate's baby sister go, goes missing. Tate Langdon? Um, he's drawn to the underworld of gentry known as mayhem. He must face the dark creatures of the slag heaps and find his rightful place in our world or theirs. This is giving me Rosemary Baby feels. This is giving me American Horror Story Apocalypse. This season's amazing, by the way. <laughs> so, happy Halloween. She works her way up with cheap pocket cigarettes. Probably even mixed with a bit of intellect. But the boys, they were saying they were into it. Such a pretty face. I'm the pretty face. Okay, I only have one book for my favorite song on the entire album. <sighs> this man played it twice in a row and I looked him in the face and dared him to throw water at me. He didn't. <laughs> and I'm like, you sure didn't. Anyway, I'm talking about Kiwi if you haven't put it together. It's my ringtone. It's my mom's ringtone. Okay, I just want to make sure everyone knows that you stand. Harry Styles. Kiwi. Harry Styles. Uh, for that, obviously, we're going with I'm Having Your Baby, It's None of Your Business. And for that, we have Learning to Breathe by Janice Lynn Mether. <laughs> and all I know about this book is that the main character, I believe, is sent to live in Nassau. She's looking for a safe place to, find, to call home. Um... And she's pregnant. That's really all I know about this book. But I'm excited to read it. For Ever Since New York, I just almost tripped over this box. For Ever Since New York, I have two books. And the only criteria was that they had to take place in New York. So, great. The first one is Survive the Night by Danielle Vega. This one, um, I know there are some kids that kind of get trapped in this underground game and like people start dying and it's in Manhattan. <laughs> I should have read this for like one of my Halloween spooky books, but I didn't want to read any of these until after I filmed this. So, I mean, there's still time. It's just the 19th. Yeah. And the second one is Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. We got a classic up in here. Um, it says, first published in 1952 and immediately hailed as a masterpiece, Invisible Man is one of those rare novels that have changed the shape of American literature. For not only does Ralph Ellison's nightmare journey across the racial divide tell unparalleled truth about the nature of bigotry and its effects on the minds of both victims and perpetrators, it gives us an entirely new model of what a novel can be. As he journal journals journeys, I was doing so well, from the deep south to the streets and basements of Harlem, that's, I, we're here now, we're in New York, from a horrifying battle royale where black men are reduced to fighting animals to a communist rally where they are elevated to the status of trophies. <laughs> oh God. Ralph Ellison's nameless protagonist ushers readers into a parallel universe that throws our own harsh and even hilarious throws our own into harsh and even hilarious relief. Suspenseful and sardonic, narrated in a voice that takes in the symphonic range of the American language, black and white, Invisible Man is one of the most audacious and dazzling novels of our time. I feel like when I read this it's gonna make me mad, so 
that'll be an exciting vlog. <laughs> another anthem, another bop, another yes. And that's woman. La 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 la. What woman? For that song, we're looking for some You good? <laughs> some stories, some feminist stories, some stories of awesome women doing awesome things. For that one, we have a nonfiction. We have an autobiography. And it's Butterfly by Yusra Mardini. I hope I pronounced that right. It says, From Refugee to Olympian, My Story of Rescue, Hope, and Triumph. Autobiography. Did I say that? And this is um, the story of Yusra. It's a Syrian refugee who um, basically uh, swam her capsized or sinking boat to safety in... Uh, the engine had shut down, Greece, I believe, and then later she joined the um, 2016 Olympic swim team in Rio. So I heard about this because Emma Watson posted about the book when it came out. She met her, and she was hyping the book up, and I'm like, yes, this sounds great. And the next one is Her Body and Other Parties. And I think this is a collection of short stories by Carmen Maria, there's a train, Mikado. And I heard about this book, I believe, um, Anna from A Clockwork Reads, I believe it was her um, that's talked about this book a lot. It's a collection of short, uh, short stories. In her electrifying debut, Carmen Maria Mikado blithely demolishes the borders between psychological realism and science fiction, comedy and horror, fantasy and fabulism. Here are eight startling stories that map the realities of women's lives and the violence visited upon their bodies. Earthy and otherworldly, antic and sexy, queer and caustic, comic and deadly serious, her body and other parties enlarges the possibilities of contemporary fiction. And it just sounds really good. Did I buy this solely because um, one of the stories is literally like, what is it, based off of Law and Order SVU? Something like that. And that's my show, so. Dun dun. Maybe one day you'll call me, tell me that you're sorry too. Maybe one day you'll call me, tell me that you're sorry too. But you never do. Woke up the girl who looked just like you. I almost said your name. We haven't spoken since you went away. Don't think you're sorry, it's a song. I won't ever say what you want to say. Keep it on the phone. This is your and last but not least, from the dining table. For that song, I went I went with the lyric, woke up the girl that looked just like you, I must say your name. And for that, I wanted to find a book that looked like the cover of a book that I already have. And I should have thought this through because I didn't grab the book, but I'll just put the picture here when I come to talk about it. And for that book, I went with Mirage by Samaya Dowd. I have two copies of this book now because this came in my last Owlcrate box, but the covers themselves are different. The one in Owlcrate is black, so I'm like, oh, it's fine. I think this is so pretty, and I got it because the color scheme looks a lot like Labyrinth Lost by Zorada Cordova, and that's the book right before Bruja Born, which I actually need to buy. So they both have this, that really pretty purple and gold cover okay so i did it that's a lot of books that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen books but two of them count as one so it's seventeen books 
all based off of Harry Styles by Harry Styles. Buy it on iTunes. Um, so I shouldn't be allowed near books for a very long time, but I'm already planning my next album themed haul. I don't know when it's going when it's going to go up, but I'm planning it. So since we're going with like my favorite albums, the next one I have planned is an after laughter book haul. I've already chosen one of the books for it. Um, after laughter by Paramore. Buy it on iTunes. Anyway, if you like this video, which I hope you did, it's kind of different. Please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> if you like me, feel free to subscribe. All my places are down here are down here, so I'll follow you. What? All my places are down here, so you can follow me, and I'll follow you back. And I'll see you soon. Bye. All right, I'm done. Oh, we started two hearts on home. Say what you wanna say